Hey everybody, this is Everett Bennett with EB3D Customs, and today we're going to learn how to take AI art, create it, and put it on slate with a 10 watt diode laser. I'm currently using Creality's 10 watt Falcon laser on a Sculpt Fun extended gantry system. So let's get into that. First, I'll show you the AI app that I use and the prompt that I use to come up with this image. And we'll just kind of go from there. Hopefully, it'll help somebody. All right, so this is the DaVinci AI art application, and it's what I use to generate all my uh, pictures for art that I'm going to sell at a booth or something like that. I really like this mid-journey filter, but I definitely advise uh, playing around with those filters because it can really create a lot of different effects there. It does take a few seconds for this to load, but once it does, it gives you four options to choose from, and generally I just have to run that once or twice. Uh, and then I'll find something that I like. Uh, in this instance right here, I really liked the bottom left image. Um, you know, you can run that a couple times and get what you want. Uh, download that, and then we're going to go to the next software, which is an app on my phone called Lightroom. It's a free photo editing app. Alright, so you can see we've dropped that photo in from my album on my phone. And it's a few simple steps. I like to use the black and white punch in the presets. And then I click auto here, but I should have waited and you'll see why. So I select the detail and I go ahead and just bump up as much detail as possible because out of the app, that thing is a pretty clear photo. At that point, what I would have liked to have done is clicked auto, but I had to adjust the contrast and then click auto. And then I decided to make it a little bit darker just to get good darks and brights on that image. All right, now that we've went through the creating image and editing in Lightroom on our phone, let's go into image R and actually make the dither pattern and uh, take some of the guesswork out of editing that image. So first we'll upload into grayscale that image that we just edited in Lightroom. And you always want to resize the image first. That's an important first step. I personally work in inches, but if you work in millimeters, there's an option for that as well here. I use 4.03. Uh, I've got a jig that holds these slate coasters in place, and that makes sure that it covers the entire 4x4 coaster. My laser specifically uses a 254 DPI. You'll want to look at your manufacturer or run a DPI test from ImageR. That's an option as well. Once it resizes it, you're going to want to go ahead and select your material. If you don't have this purchased, you can actually use some of these free. I would suggest the black slate if you're running on slate. I have it purchased, so I'm going to use the Mars and Black Slate. I seem to get the best results from this when, when working with Slate. This new one-touch button that they've added is, is incredible. Um, really speeds up the editing, and look at the detail that it's going to bring out with just, just the touch of a button. I have noticed that you want to set your material and kind of do everything in the order that I've shown you, or it'll undo what the one-touch uh, is for. Uh, as you can see, we've got a great image here, so we'll go ahead and download the PNG. That's what I have always downloaded, and it gives me pretty good results. Now we'll get into Lightburn. Uh, this is where I have my jig and everything saved. Uh, you'll notice I have absolute coordinates set up. That's critical for any jig that you're going to do. And I'll show you the jig a little bit uh, further whenever I go to set it up and uh, get it started. So let's import that image. And as you can see, it came in the size that I want it to. It's important not to resize that once you bring it in because you can mess up that 254 DPI that we have in there. So I've got it locked in center of that first corner piece. And if you look at my settings, I've got pass through enabled. That's very important since we did the dithering outside of Lightburn. If you ever want to play with these image modes, it does give you a good description down here for what you're getting out of that image mode. Uh, I run in inches, but you see here I'm 450 inches a minute and 90% power. If you're wondering what that is in millimeters, uh, that's easy for me to change and show you. Or you could convert it over. 
And as you can see, we are at 11,430 millimeters per minute. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear coat the slate. I'll show you what I use and how I do that. And then we'll go over the jig and go ahead and burn this and show a final product. All right. So I like to use the Krylon lacquer clear coat. Dries in 15 minutes. Doesn't take much. And it just takes real thin coat here. I just kiss the edges. You got a thin coat all around that thing. 15 minutes from now, I'll put it in the jig and we'll get it etched. Okay guys, we're at the laser and a little bit about this setup. I've got a 10 watt Falcon diode module and I've attached it to the Sculpt Fund gantry system. I've extended the rail system so I have approximately 35 inch by 36 inch work area. You can notice I've got squares edged where the squares were in my program, and that's where the exact coordinates come in. <clears throat> I have this clamped in to where the corner is touching my framing, and it's squared with the frame both directions, clamped and magnetized to my table. What that allows me do, to do is run repetitive parts and never really have to worry about if I'm centered or is it going to cover the whole piece. Now we'll home the system and we'll start the program. Make sure that you're wearing your safety glasses during this process. All right, guys, as you can see, it came out looking really good. And uh, yeah, if I wanted to run 12 of those, I have that option with this jig. If you guys wanna see more content, please let me know. I'd love to get some honest feedback. Uh, this is my first tutorial and it, I'm a little out of my comfort zone here, but you never know if you don't start somewhere, so this is me starting somewhere. Thanks, guys.